morning everyone back at uh, Pagan Pathways here with Jessica got everything set up to make our ritual bath salts and um, our base is uh, Epsom salt Epsom salt is uh, purifying and detoxifying and it soothes your sore muscles this works on our physical body so well I suggest even if you don't use any other herb Take in a nice warm bath and some Epsom salt. The relaxing and rejuvenating feel of it when you're finished is just amazing. Next here we have sea salt. Sea salt comes from the ocean and it is ruled by the element of water. Water deals with our emotions and when we're taking a ritual bath we're trying to release um, our pin up emotions that we have inside and so this is essential I think. It's um it's the perfect salt to use to release negative emotions and thoughts and open us up to change. So we'll be adding a, a quite a large amount of sea salt. This is pink Himalayan salt and pink Himalayan salt is ruled by the element of earth. Earth is uh, our stability. It is the very um, essence of life itself. And <clears throat> when we add this, it's going to be able to give us the foundation we need to manifest what we want and stability as well so i wouldn't skip any of the salts i think that they're the most important parts if you if you can't that's okay but i will say you can get a cheap version uh, and i just say i don't think the product itself is cheap but it's just cheaper you can buy both sea salt and pink Himalayan salt and you can even get epsom salt at the dollar tree so and the two of these herbs you can also find at the Dollar Tree. Uh, rosemary, they don't sell it there. And so that's our next one is Rosemary. Rosemary is also ruled by an element and its element is uh, fire. And fire, it, it pushes us. It, it's, it, it's our passion, right? And if you're trying to use this as a ritual bath to get ready for a uh, new moon intention or a full moon or just a new week, <laughs> this can help motivate you it's it's just a really good herb and uh different ways it, it's healing it clears negativity it, it makes our mind clearer and it brings us blessings and it purifies us so adding this I just wanted to do that now if you notice I don't have near as much of the rosemary as I do of the basil or the ginger but that's because I also have a rosemary essential oil that we'll be adding so we don't need quite as much as that um, then we have ginger <clears throat> ginger also ruled by fire we use this as a way to speed up our manifestations and bring forth prosperity and protection now when I say it speeds up the manifestation, I mean ginger is a power herb. So whatever you're trying to manifest, this will help bring it to fruition a little bit faster. And um, since it's a prosperity herb, that's really important. Prosperity doesn't always mean money. It could be being lucky and love and, you know, just being really prosperous in anything that you're manifesting. So we'll be adding that ginger. And then this is basil. <clears throat> basil is also ruled by uh, the element fire. And um, that it just with three elements ruled by fire, our deepest desires and passions are really going to be pushed to the forefront. So I wanted to add this. This is also a really great herb for um, prosperity, protection, and happiness. It, it can also be for marriage and love, but for my purposes of what I'm trying to manifest, this, this just fits perfect. And you feel free to change any of the herbs. Just make sure that you're looking for herbs that you can actually consume or that are safe to be on your skin because there are some that are not. Now, basil, if you're pregnant or nursing, you don't want a lot of that because, um, there are some health associations I just wanted uh, to make everybody aware. And our last additive is a lavender essential oil. Now, lavender is ruled by air, and air 
is for our wisdom and knowledge and I wanted to make sure we added that not only that the properties of lavender when you're smelling it is really calming and gives us gives us clarity and can sharpen our mind so I felt like this was important to add to this uh, particular ritual bath and um yeah so we have all the elements here I find that to be quite fantastic so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I um, would do I do I did already create sacred space and and get all ritual ready but I'm gonna add these one at a time in here and I'm not gonna stir it yet I'm gonna wait till it's all in there so we're just gonna add each additive now when I add the rosemary I'm only gonna put just a couple of drops in there it's pretty strong and I already added some of the herb so you know five or six drops is all you need and then for lavender I'm gonna add about 10 to 15 drops because I really want the smell of the lavender so we get that all in there and then we are going to use our hand and, and start just stirring it up and as you're stirring it up you want to really feel it, fuel it with your intentions on what it is you're trying to do. I'm making a little mess there and that's okay. Oh man, this stuff smells amazing. I can't wait to go soak in the tub. So I'm just, I'm just uh, telling this herbs what my intentions are. I have it mixed up pretty good mm, I can smell that lavender so strong but I can also smell the rosemary pretty good mmm it just smells delightful okay so I feel like I'm ready and then I would just put this uh, I do have a lid for this bowl but I typically store them in these kind of containers which by the way they sell these at Dollar Tree if you buy one just cleanse it not only physically but also spiritually you can use your smudge stick run it over some of your incense what have you just um, that's what I advise so this is how I make my ritual bath incense now <clears throat> Again, if I was trying to manifest something a little bit different than what the properties of each of these, you can change out. But this is a really good, almost all purpose for almost any manifestation because of the properties of all of the herbs I put in there. All right, well, I tried to make this sweet and short and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you make your own bath salts and uh, how you set up your bathing ritual before you do a magical ritual. Have a good day, everyone. See you soon.